Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I am Will, and I am joined by my co-host, The Grease. Say hello, Grease. Hey! <laughs> I'm just excited we get, to, we get to drink four whiskeys tonight. Oh, we're drinking four whiskeys tonight. Well, I'm well, I'm going to drink all... I drink my suggestions. Oh, I got to put one of those back, and then that one actually belongs to you, I think, so... Wait, what? Hmm? Wanna... What? one no i'm just kidding because yeah, you do <laughs> you have random boxes sometimes in your in your driveway or your garage or whatever that thing is the and driveway sit on them garage. For a while. They're, they're completely different things actually but know. one leads to the other all right folks we are doing the top four whiskeys that you should take on spring break because i leave tomorrow to go down to the beach and i'm taking my podcast bourbon bag with me and i it holds four bottles of whiskey and i want to fill it up i don't want to go to the it's also store. got a pocket it's also got a pocket in there for you know refreshments yeah like, like uh beef jerky like crackers. Um, graham crackers the like yeah one of those one of those things that screws down into uh i don't want to say it you know other Cork bottles screw. yeah but i didn't i didn't i didn't want to say the other spirit uh well i don't know if that's a spirit you mean wine sure well, yeah but i mean what if you i have, don't know like, what that word means turkey, and I, you have to remove the cork because it got broke yeah yeah okay. you need a corkscrew fair yeah no i don't mind saying the word corkscrew so i want to fill up this bag with whiskey that i own to take to the beach and i need to know what the best ones to take are and so i'm going to give some suggestions grease is going to give some of his suggestions for beach whiskey and uh hopefully people that are watching on youtube will also chime in in the chat and we'll go ahead and throw those up as they come in too but let's you want to get started you got you want number one or you want me to take it yeah, I was just going to say that you didn't get to have all the fun. You were like, oh, I'm going to pick four whiskeys to take with me on my trip. I'm like, well, I know I'm not going where you went. I went somewhere else. I'm happy to talk about that later. Oh, we um, need to get into that for sure. Yeah, maybe like midway or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but uh, I wanted to join in, so I'm picking my four. Yeah, I, well, I need your help. Always, pretty, so. I'm pretty sure my four is better. I doubt that. Already. But um, mine, mine are probably better. Typically they are, but what, did you put a certain hat on a podcast cat is what I'm wearing currently. No, no, no. no. Like, were you like, okay, I'm going to pick things that are obtainable in most markets. Um, I, I mean, I think I have themes to my bottles. I think all, but one of them are readily available like you could go buy but then the one that isn't is just kind of like a there's a philosophy behind that bottle why you, you should take something this or something like this to the beach so kind of like that matchbox 20 album you're super themey yeah you've, you've always been super themey do you want to go start first please sure i don't care all right you what you got ready for it all right here we go if i were <laughs> if i were stranded on an island we should do that one that's we next should, week. That's yeah. We're just going to do this every week. All right. Here's the deal. I'm on a beach. Keyword when I go to the beach is longevity. Yeah. Okay. Your wife or girlfriend, or maybe your mom, if you're, you know, still doing that, she says, go out there to the beach and get us a spot on the beach. And you take your, you know, whatever wagon. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of wagon it is, but it's a wagon. It's of a some beach sort. wagon. Yeah, sure. With the with yeah. the big tires that can go right. on sand, and you're wheeling that thing out there, and you set up the tent, and you set up the the chairs and all that stuff. And here's the deal: y'all didn't think it through fully because now it's eight a.m. in the morning. You hadn't had breakfast yet, but you did bring a bottle of whiskey down there, and you're having to 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 stand your ground okay because there's a lot of i don't know if you've seen the youtube videos out there yeah. of people stealing people's campsites on the beach it's like staking out your tailgate spot you got to get there and you got to mark it off and you got to you got to defend it with right. everything you own right yeah you got to bring those daggone paper clips and rubber bands because you not you might not have to you know might have to take you, you know, know lethal stinger. action all right longevity okay i also 
I also just think this is just a refreshing pour. It's a great representation of wild turkey, okay? 81 proof wild turkey. Okay. Yeah. Super crushable. For sure. Yeah, I that's mean, smart. you can just I mean, you can just And here's the deal. It, it might as well be triple sec. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean with that. It's I mean, if you're also too, if you're not like into whiskey yet, this is a good starter. It's a good one. Yep. Cool. 81. I mean, it if you get choked up on this, just keep trying it. All right. If you add this to ice, it's gonna be like a sweet bomb. Yeah. My first one is along those lines too. I had that kind of same thought process too. So I'm going with Evan Williams 1783. This is actually a dusty bottle that Joe B gave me. It's from the 90s, I believe. But uh, it's still, you know, 86 proof, delicious whiskey. Um, longevity is definitely a good word for using this bottle. Um, you can also, if, if people are with you at the beach that aren't going to want to drink it neat. And also, I mean, I don't, I'm not drinking neat necessarily down on the on the sand anyways. You're throwing in some Coke and stuff and making a little beach cocktail, a little game day mix down there. That's not going to uh, treat you poorly down in the sun. You got to remember to hydrate. You got to remember to uh, to be responsible so you can keep going the whole day. But I think something that is a little bit lower proof still has a lot of good flavor and is, is cost effective too if you need to grab a backup bottle. Um, uh, I'm right there with you. Kind of similar mindset. That's why I go with Evan Williams, 1783 for my number one pick. 86 proof, right? Yes, 86. It's so good. It is It is one of the best bottles for $15 out there. Yeah, 100%. Period. Yep. Period. So that's going in my bag. That's a great freaking bag. It right in. That's a freaking... Yeah, just go ahead and do it. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so here's the deal. I like weeders. Mm. Well, I bet I bet I know what you're doing. Yeah. Weeders are sweeters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not sweaters. You don't need a sweater at the beach, but here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's not larceny barrel proof. And if you think larceny barrel proof is a good weeder, leave a comment. And we'll Hot talk take right it. there. We Hot will, take. We will talk about it. There's so many people out there that love that daggum pour. And I think that's fine. You can like it, but I'm going to mm -hmm. you, you know, I'll, I'll happily have a slight discussion about that poor. Anyway, tried and true over here, Will. Tried and true. New er, new er release. Makers 101. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Taking that to the beach. Now, similar situation. You can take this and. You know, get you one of those. Uh, you're going to get an Auburn cup. I'd get a Georgia cup. Like a Tervis? Like an Auburn Tervis tumbler? I don't even care if it's a tumbler. Just give me a big old cup. I'm going to fill it to the top of fridge ice. Yeah. Okay. Not like, ice. not like ice ice. Right. Not fancy ice. Maybe. And then I'm going to take maybe four ounces of this, swirl it around. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come all the way to the top. I don't want no, it to. Not even close. No. Yeah. I want it kind of like, Halfway, three quarters, and uh -huh. that's just, it's going to dilute. <sighs> Solid, refreshing pour. If you do that, now you can have it neat too. This is freaking great pour. This is freaking yeah. great. Okay, it's like forty five bucks too. It's like not too expensive. No, yeah, it's it's fifty out the door. Yeah, um, seven hundred fifty milliliters, hundred one proof. Maker's Mark, tried and true. Love this. This is great in a Coke. I love that it's widely released now too. Oh, a hundred percent. 101 proof. It's going to hold up in any kind of cocktail you have. You'll still get, you know, the spirit action. And, you know, it's not as lower proof. So this is going to go farther as far as how you're feeling. Uh huh. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I have um, a similar philosophy as you. Um, I also went with a weeder. If only I knew what a philosophy was. I also went with a higher proof. I went with Rebel Yell 100, all mm. uh, formerly known as Rebel Yell 100, now known as Rebel 100. Um, but it's 100 proof. It is uh, a weeder, 
and it's from Lux Road Distillers. I'm a big fan of this. It's really cheap. It's like 13 or 14 dollars where we live and it is bang for your buck really good value really good flavor i can drink this neat and really enjoy it but once again like you're saying fridge ice in a big tumbler a couple four ounces in here a little uh splash of coke on top for a game day mix on the sand and you will be fine with that 100 proof whiskey and then it's also something you can use in other stuff too. Like it also at night at the beach, if you're making cocktails or something, you got it. You're not wasting a ton of money on the whiskey you're pouring and, and you're going to enjoy it. It's pretty good. So that's my, my second pick. I'm going to say I would not be fine. I've gone on spring break with Rebel Yell. I know. And that's why when you said weeder and, and a little bit higher proof, I was like, oh, he's taking my pick. His number two pick is going to be this because yeah. you allegedly... You never allegedly you you wanted to ride off on a shark into the sunset with a bottle of Rebel Yell in your hand. Yeah, that was the only logical explanation that I had to be able to I don't know confidently make it home. Yeah, it's a weird situation. It's fine. We're all good now. It's good. It's good to go. Rebel Yell just bit me, and I'm still into it. Yeah. It's not like Southern Comfort bit me. You okay? you bit back at Rebel Yell. I Rebel bit Yell. I bit it back. We had a we had a get together. We had a little powwow. We had a potluck dinner. We talked it through, and we figured it out. And we're totally fine now. Is it? Is it? We're on to three. Yeah, but before we do that, we got a couple uh, uh, suggestions, user suggestions here. One is from Bo Ranheim, who is a, a newer patron as well. Bo, so, Bo, welcome. He also knows a thing or two about Juicy's Barbecue outside of Louisville, Kentucky. But he says, ha, uh, you have to take Jefferson's Ocean, don't you? Which, um, mm. I mean, he does have a point. If you're going to the beach, something that has been – aged at sea that definitely makes sense uh then our buddy dustin peed is saying uh can i suggest a jd single barrel 94 proof crisp crushable and great on ice to stay cool that's a really good pick too and that is not in my lineup so yeah and a lot um, of banana notes on those so yeah. if you're on a beach beaches and bananas they go together I am currently drinking something because of the theme of the show. I'm drinking that uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee Tasters that is Jamaican allspice, so straight Tennessee whiskey finished with toasted Jamaican allspice wood. And this is not going to count, but I'm going to put this in the side because it's you know it's like a flask bottle. This is going in the case too. I'm definitely oh, taking yeah. this with me. Okay, so, so that's an. That's like a an asterisk halvesies. It's a bonus pour. It's a bonus pour because I'm not going to mix that with anything. I'm also probably not going to drink that on the beach, but by the pool later in the evening, evening time, I'm pouring that by the pool, and I'm not going to be um, ashamed of that. So. That's what I was going to say. For my last pour, I'm like, it's higher proof. And yeah, you like, and I, I like, it's I like the end where of we're the tracking. night, and you've got a light buzz, and you're like, I'm going to pour one more ounce of something and sleep good. All right. So, uh, or let's, the sunburns get let's continue on. You have number three, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Number three. One of my favorite freaking just overall pours, period. It's really good. It's a great Four Roses expression. Again, super crushable. What? Nothing. Keep going. Did we do it the same? Number four. Four oh. Roses Small Batch Select, or number three, rather. Four Roses Small Batch Select. 104 proof. Can't talk. <laughs> 104 proof, non-chill filtered, really good. Um, 50 bucks, I think, out the door. And it's not, a, I mean, it's it's in select markets still, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's growing. It's great. Uh, that's, that's for me, one where it's like teetering towards evening pours like after beach pours, mm -hmm. maybe getting ready to go out to dinner. Maybe you're cooking and grilling Pour a little bit of that neat, or maybe a little bit on the rocks. If you're feeling that way. And, uh, I'm but that's, such that's a rock man whiskey. at the beach. I am. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can, you can't, especially fridge ice rocks. Like you can't oh, turn that down. Yeah. No, I, I don't do it at the house. Yeah, I don't. But if I'm at the beach, it's freaking rocks, just rocks everywhere, man. Yeah. No, I'm totally fine. with Boulders. That. All right. All right. So uh, <laughs> we're going up in proof too. Yeah. No, you know we both. I mean? Well, 
obviously that makes sense. We we started with the lower proof and we worked our way up. And right. but also, like I said, the philosophy has kind of been the same, which makes sense because you and I have been around each other for a long time and kind of drink the same. But we both went with something low proof in the eighties for the beach time. Then we went for a weeder that was a little bit higher in proof. Then we went a little bit something nicer with a little 104 proof. And now what do you got for your big daddy? Cause I know you're bringing something barrel strength. Oh yeah. Let's see if I have to sub out because we're both doing the same thing. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Did we do it the same. Nope. No, no, that's okay. a great pick. So Jack Daniels, single oh, yeah. barrel, barrel, some of the, proof. some of the best, single barrel picks right now there i mean jack daniels is just freaking destroying the game they've got a lot they've got a crap ton of stock and they're releasing these barrel strength bourbons um actually tennessee's like we we don't even get many of them <sighs> unfortunately they're restricting us down here even though when it's released anywhere cl close to here, they're sold out in a day. But well, they just have to spread the love. I get that. But most of the time, like the regular offering, not like you know a store pick offering. Typically, they're. I mean, I've found them in a lot of places. So yeah, they're there. Uh, this is coming in at a whopping one hundred and thirty three point two proof. And this is, I mean, dude, these poor, these freaking. Barrel proof jacks are so good, and I love the bottle. Obviously, yeah, yep. it's it's kingly. So you, what? You what's, your thought, what's your thought? What's your thought process on, on that? On the counter, though. and you're like, all right. Yeah, what? yeah. You're you're thinking after beach day, sun's oh, yeah. down. Maybe go sit out by the pool. Go sit out on the beach where it's you getting yes. that nice cool breeze, enjoying that. Something you don't warm hit you this up. Hot. No, you you're, you're not hot. This is end of the day pour. You're at the pool exactly right. Maybe you pour this up when you're headed to the hot tub. Yo, yeah. You know what I mean? And then uh, if you've got sunburn, this is a this is a good option. Smack it on the sunburn helps dry the skin out real good. No. Oh, you don't want to no, you want to moisturize. That's no. what I'm thinking. Dead gum. What? You're trying to sabotage. Um, no, you're trying to sabotage people's vacations. Listen here, people. Do not do that. Okay? Yeah. Drink it, and it'll take the pain away. I don't know if it's a histamine blocker or not, or an antihistamine. I don't know. I don't know what any of those words mean. I think there, might be, histi there might be histamine and alcohol. I don't know. It makes my nose itch sometimes. Yeah. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if the sunburn hurts... Do this. If it itches, I don't necessarily know if I've got a solution for you. Smack the whiskey on Maybe it. just ask your wife, girlfriend, or your mom to scratch your back. I don't know. Yeah. Or your dad. Uh, I mean, dad might be into that. I'm, <laughs> I'm going for uh, George T. Stag for my evening high proof pour. Um, 2020? Uh, this is the 2020, yes, the 130.4 proof, but very similar in concept of what you went through for. You went for something barrel proof, bold flavors in the evening. Uh, you know, that, that it's where we are. We, we both had the same trajectory going through it. Um, we did have Michael Williams ask us if we could throw a rye in there, which is interesting. Neither of us picked a rye. We stuck with bourbons. Um, yeah, I mean, if I were going to take a rye, I'd probably add it as my final. Like, I'd swap out like the the George T. Stag, and I'd probably put a um, like a, a, a Kentucky Owl uh, rye, something that's a little bit higher proof, a little bit older. Um, I don't know that I want to drink rye and Coke on the beach or something. You know, like rye with that spice and that. It just it's. When I'm on the beach, I want something sweeter. That's why I also like rum when I'm at the beach. I, and so a bourbon is typically going to be what I'm going to lean towards. Um, that's one reason why I went with the Rebel Yell, which is a weeder. That's like the daytime kind of drink. So I would throw the rye in as the evening pour there. I don't know that I'm going to drink rye on the beach. All right. Let me go ahead and tell you kind of why I picked my stuff. All four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. I typically fly. Even if I'm going to 
30A Panama City, Mexico Beach in the Panhandle of Florida. We, we typically do too. This time we are driving. We're driving tomorrow. So I know. I know you're driving. So there's like no rules in that situation. I'm always weary of taking flying with bottles mm -hmm. every time. I never know if my luggage is just going to reek of whiskey when I get it back. And then, you know, if the court came out and busted because of the pressure and all that other stuff, I will say this knob creeks are typically really good to travel with. The screw top wellers are really good. Not the cork ones. Um, those are know, really those screw. Those screw tops leak, man. Those metal screw tops. Well, I'm just saying they don't make for, a great seal for the pressure for the of it popping off i haven't had any issues but mm -hmm. i also i also You've had issues well do i also do the the saran wrap around it yeah just to protect it a little you know bit. what i do is i get a uh like a vacuum sealer i vacuum seal my bottles okay like i put it in a bag and i put it in the vacuum sealer so it's and then it you know it's so even if it does leak out, it's not all over your luggage. Why do you vacuum your bottles? What? I don't vacuum them. I vacuum seal them in plastic. Like one of those food things? Yeah, like a food saver. I've seen you use that. I know. I do that for whiskey. I put my whiskey bottle in a custom cut plastic sheet. Suck all the air out. I feel like you're, you're, you're a rich man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just don't think that a normal human being has a, oh, yeah, I've got a, um, a vacuum sealer a food saver that I wrap all of my A lot of people do. They, you, you get them at Costco. I understand where you can get them. They also have a $99 freaking ham that's delicious at Costco. Did I get that? No. No, you didn't know it existed, peasant. I didn't. I'm not aware of the higher class things. Unless it's, you know, whiskey. Then I'm aware Spe of that. Speaking of. But I don't, I don't, you did I don't some vacuum pretty, you, seal bottles. You did something pretty high class fancy this weekend. Can we talk about that? I mean, yeah. I guess. It's, it's I'm, I'm going to the beach. You had kind of a spring break uh, trip this weekend, right? Well, when everybody and their mom is headed to the beach this week. Yeah. And I'm sitting there staring in the eyes of the, of my beautiful bride. Okay. Who will remain nameless. Cause I don't want y'all to know which one I'm talking about. Smart. I look in her in the eyes and I'm like, listen, we got to get out of here. Like we got to do something. Everybody's going to the beach. She's like, why don't we find a hotel and indoor pool? That's a great idea. Let's do that. Now, the last time we did that, we went to the Opryland Hotel, and it cost us like $2,200 for two days. You could have gone to the beach for less, probably. Yes. You're not wrong. So we abandoned that idea because that was ridiculous. Like, on paper, you think you're spending like, you know, 800 at the time, and then you get into it, and you're like having to eat all your meals, and then, oh... The water, indoor water I love, park. I love over here. I'm talking about a food saver, and you're talking about spending $2,200 in your own town. So let's just pump the brakes on on who's calling who rich. You can't put a dollar amount on an experience, Will. Okay, that's, Whiskey that's Weekend. That's fair. Whiskey Weekend. You still have a couple of days to sign up at whiskeytainment.com. Check it out. Like be six, there or be six, square. Or five. Yeah. Okay. So. I found a good deal. Embassy Suites. I'm thinking Embassy Suites. I Every room's a suite. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? It's like, you know, okay, Legion Air, or a Legion Air, or whatever it is, you know, first class or what. I don't know. Like, first class sounds good until you get there, and then it's not. I had high hopes for Embassy Suites. I walk into the lobby. It's, a, it's, it's the lobby that I'm aware of because you and I occasionally for lunch – we look at each other and we're saying, where do you want to go for lunch? Let's go to a hotel sports bar. And so we do. So we head to Embassy Suites. I'd love to pay $20 for a $3 burger. 100%. We do it every time. We also thought we died that trip. I think we talked about it on the episode one. Time. We may have. Same we Embassy we Suites. We told some people. Yeah. Same Embassy Suites. We go in there. Everything's fine. The counter's a little sticky when I'm checking in. I thought that was odd. I was yeah. like, you know what? 
It's supposed no to be cleaning deal. more these days. You're supposed uh, to be that cleaning is, a lot more. That is the uh, that is the thing. Uh, so we we get checked in. We get in the elevator. There is some sort of snot streak that started pretty high. So Glad I don't doing this remote. I don't think I don't think that th- th- there was. This was not a three year old child. Okay, that did this and then what? Th- this was. This that was, was a that was an adult child, but something that did this. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think that that I don't think that that's good. And it, and it wasn't. So here. So we got off the elevator. Lauren and I. Are, oh, crap. Shoot. All right. So, <laughs> we know sorry, which one. Sorry, Felicia. Um, so Lauren and I look at each other. And we're like, oh, my God. Like, what in the world? And Lauren's like, I mean, should we just should we just like go home? <laughs> and I was like. Babe, like we've only oh ridden, we've only ridden the elevator. <laughs> you're not even to the room yet. Your wife's already like, we're out. Like we're not we, in the room we, yet. We get to the room, and it is the most '90s room on the planet. Everything is fake. Everything, uh-huh. everything is not comfortable. Everything is hard surface. The couch is not even comfortable. It's a sleeper sofa. We pull that out because our kids are sleeping on it. The springs might as well be like two feet above your chest as you're laying down. That's how, that's how hard those springs feel like they feel like yeah. they, they're going through your body and aggressive springs. Yep. And so anyway, so we had a great idea. Hey, let's get, <laughs> let's get ready and to go swimming. Let's go to the indoor pool. How yeah. about it? Ladies? Everybody's like, yes, yes. We get dressed and we go to the pool. We walk in there and <laughs> I've never in my life seen my wife so defeated in her life. <laughs> we had this concept of we're going to sit by the pool. There's a bar at the hotel. We're going to get some cocktails, sit by the pool, wave to our kids, like all this other stuff. And uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the pool is not a pool. The pool was a an algae pond indoors an indoor concealed probably something circulating in the air of a mold or a algae or something something that if it got on an eyeball we would need to remove the eyeball (laughs) to clean it thoroughly my wife put her feet in and that was it that's all she did she could not do it. She could not get in. So I'm Did you in. get in? I got in. And then, like, some kids oh. are jumping everywhere. And, like, it's landing on my lips. It's getting in your mouth. I taste it. Ugh. It's not It's not what I remember pool water tasting like. Anyway, so the favorite thing I did for the next two hours is I just stared at the door. And I watched people come into this place because it was the greatest thing ever. Everybody's face when they came in the door was like this. <laughs> they had no idea what to do. It was like they had they had they had 20 years of pool etiquette experience completely <laughs> just thrown out the door. They're looking and like, I mean, do we sit down at a table in lounge chairs? Like, where do we post up right now? Like, is this okay? Like, they're surveying the people in the pool, and they're like, are you dying? Are you sick? Is it, is it eating your flesh yet? Right. Is everybody okay? And everybody seemed to be okay. Anyway, we swam. Oh it was gosh. fine. We go back. My wife is like, can we just go back home and sleep? And my daughters <laughs> are like, no. We anyway, love it. Dad. We get a good night's sleep. We wake up. Guess what? Embassy Suites. You get the free cocktail hour. We did not use that. You get the free complimentary Why breakfast didn't the next you? day. Huh? Why wouldn't you use the free cocktail out? Because we went to Red Robin to eat. That out is of, on brand for this this staycation. I'm going to say that. I out of all the eating establishments. Mm, I'm cool not a fan Springs. of the Red Robin. I'm not a fan of it. No, it's very kid-friendly. I, had, I it's went very to Red Robin friendly. with a friend and his son. And his son, after Red Robin, uh, ate a burger and threw up some of that burger on my foot. And I'll never be able to go back to Red Robin. Can't do it. I don't care about limitless fries. Can't do it. Well, I asked for more fries. I never got them. 
kid friendly though. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin has a lot of sense. I think my family stayed in that same hotel. I think the pool deck was carpeted. <laughs> It, it was not carpeted. It wasn't carpeted. However, it was. <laughs> I, I saw. I saw two people bust it. God, oh, bless her heart too. She was Wish like a, had been she was like a middle school girl. Because you know, in middle school, and she came in with like three other middle school girls, and like I don't know. I don't know if you remember being in middle school, but middle school was like, dude, you better be flawless right now. Oh yeah, so that you don't look like an idiot. Mm-hmm. They come up in there. They were they were the best faces because they like within five minutes of being in that pool. Literally, one of the one of the daughters asked her mom, "Hey, can we go to uh, what's her name's?" Like they had a friend in another hotel. Well, hey, can we go to what's her name's hotel? Their pool's better. It was it's so probably, bad. I mean, it's probably an accurate statement. And there was this one tool bag. You should have found out where what's her name was staying, so that y'all could all have migrated to the other pool. Oh yeah, it's probably yeah. that Marriott across the street. I'm guessing it's probably got a pretty nice pool. You know? Maybe I, I mean, don't they know. just redid that hotel not too long ago. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> Jason oh. Newman said I came into this conversation entirely too late. <laughs> <laughs> there was some a hole like nine ten year old kid that just. He had one trick, dude, and he was wearing it out because middle school girls were there. And uh -huh. he was like, man, I got to own this right now. And he's doing like this twist thing in the air, yeah. but it's kind of like a half twist. And then he just kind of side belly flops. Into the pond he, water? Yeah. And he kept doing it like right beside me. Were there were there fish? My, my daughters thought that there was a shark in the water. However... Here we go. Full disclosure. Well, first, of all, first of all, if your daughters thought that there was a shark in the water, that means there probably were fish because what you have shown them as to be a shark mm. is indeed just a, a wee minnow. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> um, so we had rings. We had a red ring. We had a blue ring and we had a yellow ring. Let me go yeah. ahead and tell you something. The red ring you could kind of see in the water. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's the that, wait, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Like you can barely see the ring Let me in this go, pond water. I just I don't even know. I don't even know if I can if I can show this appropriately. Like I just I want people to see. I want people to see this image. Can y'all see that? <laughs> oh, oh. Can, that's that's the indoor pool, and it was I don't know like twenty feet by twelve feet. It was not big. I mean, there's only six people in this shot, and they're taking up half the pool. <sighs> anyway, we could barely see the red one. The blue one, not – you have to kind of search for it. And then the yellow one, good luck. You just had to drag your foot on the deck on ball of the pool and just be like, yeah, I think I found it. I got it, and we're, we're out of there. Anyway, That's the next morning – Disgusting. The next morning, we try to go get some breakfast. It was a crap shoot down there because – the hotel was sold out because it was a hundred dollars a night for a suite okay yeah. in an indoor pool so there you go in nashville and nashville hotels are you know historically high uh so we didn't do that so we headed to cracker barrel cracker barrel slammed we leave cracker barrel next thing on brand in my head waffle house we go to waffle house it is slammed so yeah, we go like, across the street to, long <laughs> well like you can wait <laughs> You that hungry? Well, we were just, we were so over it. <laughs> like, we could have waited 15 minutes to get a free breakfast, but instead we were like, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's I mean, go spend $60 at Cracker Barrel right now just to get out of yeah, here. But we passed Cracker a coffee Barrel's stain game. that, that literally, it was a coffee puddle that had one daggum freaking napkin on it. <laughs> and it was there for 45 minutes. Wait, like, in the hallway? Yes. Just sitting, just just saying, here I am. And, dude, I don't know. And the carpets everywhere just had debris on them. These Ugh. people have, they they don't, I don't think they, I don't know if they they clean. I don't. Well, I thought they're supposed to be cleaning more because of the, the current station of the world. 
I don't disagree with you. <sighs> I don't, but that's not not that's not what's happening at the NBC Suites in Cool Springs. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Anybody out there that doesn't believe me, go. <laughs> Franklin, Tennessee, Embassy Suites, freaking Cool Springs. I think it's called South Nashville or something. Anyway, uh, no bueno. I'm not going to leave them a review on Yelp. I don't care. It's $100. You get what you pay for, okay? You should do that. You should say, listen, I'm the grease. <laughs> and here's how rough my experience was. Here's 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 my standards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it dropped a little bit. Yeah, I'm not that picky. I'm not right. The, the That's why I'm I'm so shocked at how bad it was. Oh man, it was so bad. And I, I will say that it, it reminded me we're all sitting around a campfire pounding, you know, vodka and sprites and Jaeger bombs in college. And Dylan did that. Somebody said, Hey, twenty bucks each, we can all go to a hotel and swim in an indoor pool. Like that's just something you do. Yeah, no, I can understand that. I would be okay if I was 22 years old in college going to that. I would have been because I'm I'm used to less. You know what I mean? I'm used to, oh, that frying oil in that pan has been on that stove for three years because yeah. nobody wants to get rid of it. You can't you can't just throw that out there without context. That's real, right? You and your roommates let someone fried something in your college kitchen this is setting the bar of, of your standards for why this was so egregiously bad at this embassy suites is that right in college a roommate of yours fried something in a pan like with oil like, like he made homemade fries he tried to make homemade fries and then left the oil on the stove for three years and i refused i refused to to deal with it because i'm like i didn't make them i wasn't even there so you didn't even get to try one i didn't even get to eat them do you so know was, if they were any good though i have no idea you didn't even ask like we've had this oil here forever were they at least sufficient like how were they were they crinkle cut did he just take some frozen crinkle cuts he and throw them in the, oil? he loved the waffle ones he loved the waffle fries he tried to make homemade waffle fries I don't Did think they were homemade. I think they were like O'Reilly or whatever. I mean, who and makes just homemade threw... freaking waffle fries? Can you even do that? Yeah, you get one no. of the a waffle cutter fry thing that they make. I mean, I understand they can slice them that way, but I don't think they can put. Well, someone's got to do it. Right. Have Prison, you had the waffle prisoners, chips? Prisoners that they try do to that. give you. They make hardwood with... floors and they make waffle fries <laughs> <laughs> and license plates. And license plates. Have you uh, have you been to the... I did. Um, I got hand-scraped hardwood floors one time, and they were like, yeah, prisoners make them. <laughs> it was a rep from Shaw. They from told Shaw, you. From Shaw Fleur. Yeah, they said, oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we hire or they pay the prison system for them to basically come in there and, I guess, beat those hardwoods to death. Hey man, we need y'all. Maybe, maybe you should pump the uh, pump the language there, Grease. When oh. that comes to the prisoner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you in uh, for? <laughs> Beating a hardwood. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling. We're rolling. Let's just run the run the episode back. Let's just start it. Now. Yeah, let's, let's start just, over. Now that we're here. Now that uh, we're here. <laughs> so, um. If, folks, if you're just, if you're watching on YouTube and and you aren't a subscriber, welcome and go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notifications. And if you're watching right oh, now, go ahead up, and give, thumbs up the video, thumbs up right now it helps yeah, us out free. a lot. Um, I'm still riding that high from the Bourbon Junkies episode. That was super fun. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that two and a half hours of glory. Um, quite a few time. Uh, oh, okay. ADHD, ADHD whiskey clearly has not rung the bell. Yeah, he didn't hit the bell. Didn't get a he, notification. He only Wait, rang me, can the I bell be him? Said, can I be him real quick? Can I be yeah. ADHD? Can I be Matt? Yeah. I didn't get a notification, and I'm furious. Piping hot right now. <laughs> That's so good. Is it good? No, that was so good. Pi I'm piping hot right now. <laughs> That is so good. That is so. That's my favorite thing you've ever done. Uh, 
All right. Yeah. Sometimes I surprise you. You got to click the bell and you got to say, I want every notification. Now, yeah, that's how you yeah. do this. I don't know if you're familiar with YouTube or not, but that's yeah. that's how you, you gotta do. learn this whole system, bud. Oh, dang I'm waiting it. for a text from him. He's gonna be now. He's really he's gonna be so hot. hot, so piping hot. He's so mad. He's so upset. Oh man. Well, this. Um, is, I mean, wait. You so you have a little bit of a spring break story too. Should we talk a little bit more whiskey first? Uh, yeah. Before, well, before you do, I mean, the, there was a there was a lot of rum car chatter. topper. A lot of rum chatter going on. Um, oh yeah. So that's another thing. I am glad that I'm driving because I can take, uh, I can take extra stuff. But I was trying to limit it to four, at least for the episode. But I am thinking about, um, um, what the heck? taking some like, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Paul says you forgot the what the what the heck, what, what the, the heck, heck? what the so heck? freaking hot right now, so freaking freaking piping hot. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking about taking some Havana club, maybe some, uh, maybe some, uh, four square rum, a couple oh. rums. I like the sweetness. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm got going, the premise. That, is that a good one? I haven't had that one. I don't, I don't know if it is or not. I haven't opened it yet. Should be pretty good. They got some good stuff. I got some funky rums in here too. I may take some stuff to make tiki drinks, take some like all spice dram, take some, uh, you gonna take some cruise on? Yeah, take some cruise on. Um, so I, uh, I, 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 uh, middle class fancied real hard this week, and that's because we're driving, and my mother in law is coming with us to the beach. And so normally we fly, like you're saying, it's a 45 minute flight direct southwest. It's cheap. You hop on there. It's so simple. Um, and in the Panama City Airport is so easy too. it's very small so typically it's like okay it, it's not very expensive it's not worth the hassle of driving um you're actually probably saving money in the long run by flying down but it is a pain i've flown twice in the last year with my children once was to the beach and once was to a wedding in ohio and in the era of covid you were you, uh, you were upset about the ohio it was uh, literally when we landed we were like we we literally should have just driven because this was so stressful, so much like panic the entire time because you're reading all these stories of like families getting kicked off of United Airlines because they their two year old wouldn't wear a mask. And it's like we have a two year old who didn't want to wear a mask, doesn't know why we're telling her to wear a mask. We're on an airplane like it's it was so stressful she flipped off the pilot it got weird she did she an air marshal tackled her it was very oh, very embarrassing and that's on her record forever she's right. not getting into a, like a, a, a tier one school anymore did you know somebody social media that you yeah and you got to explain that on your on your entrance exam you right. know like what your interview with uh with princeton they're gonna say why did you get tackled by an air marshal and you know they're pretty strict about mask policies. So uh, it, it, it just wasn't great. So we're like, let's just drive. We'll have our car. Let's let's give it a shot this time. So we're going down, but we're picking up my mother-in-law in Birmingham. And quickly we realized we're like, oh, normally we put our third row seat down and have all the trunk space. And we've got, you know, two little kids. So you, mm -hmm. you pack half your house, uh, you know, like you're packing. Do you ever put the back back seat down and cuddle a little bit back there? Shh. Make a couple of Totino's pizzas, put them in a cooler. This is live. Take um, them not answering that. Pleading open, the fifth. Open, open up the Let's back. just say we store furniture in the back of our car, and sometimes it needs to be moved. Right. So um, we, but we're like, we can't leave the back seat down because we have mother-in-law coming. So it's like all these logistical nightmares. And my wife is like, I've got it. We're going to get a car topper. And I was like, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with this. Like this isn't not to be confused with a topper shot of rum on a cocktail. Oh, that's called a rum, floater a floater. But so I'm like, I don't know if we need to do this. I don't know if this is our um, lifestyle. I don't know that we are car top type people. And so she gets fixated on this for probably an hour and a half, two hours. 
And finally goes, I found one here, found one here. I found like this very nice, like luxury one at REI. I'm like, fine, I'm going to get this. She goes, that's $800, you dumb dumb. We're not buying an $800 car topper. I'm like, it looks very aerodynamic. I'm sure that we will save all the money in the gas mileage that we pick up from having this air fin on top of the car. Not allowed to buy that one. Not the cool looking one, right? The one that looks like fly round trip three times for that carb easily. Yes. (laughs) So, but she's like, no, we're not getting that. And I'm like, it'll last forever. She's like, so will this piece of plastic crap. And, but then she comes to me and goes, um, I've got this one I found on Facebook marketplace. It's $50. It is. Um, and she shows it to me and I go, I will never run that. No way. She goes, why? I go, you'll never own it. Yeah. I go, we've, I had that same one as a kid and I do not want that. It was a Sears Brown dome. Yeah. It was not aerodynamic. It looked like oh, a yeah. pillow. Oh, no, I know it what had you're a about. big yellow and red snail on it. And it yeah. said X cargo, which yeah. is a pun <laughs> that wasn't even a good pun. It's no, like that's extra, a good pun. Extra cargo instead of S cargo, like a snail. So I'm like, I'm like, no, we're not getting that. She goes, it's great. It's nostalgic. And I go, that's not the nostalgia I need this right. week. Okay. You can't put nostalgic no. anything on a on a what what what's your SUV like it's it's, it's like Acadia a, it's like the most like right. nine it's middle not, class car you've ever seen it's not like you're in a VW you know van right yeah so she's like okay fine we won't get it I'm like no we're not getting it you won't let me have the eight hundred dollar one you cannot have the fifty dollar used one so we co- find a compromise we find one at Dick's Sporting Goods and uh, I have to go pick that up and so I did. And then we I don't know who this Paul guy's in in the chat. He's had a couple of zingers today and it's and it's fabulous. Nice blue tarps, bungee cords from tractor supply should do the trick. Well, I mean, it it did cross my mind, but um yeah. But it all is supposed to rain, so I don't know. I'm not really good at making things airtight. So right. We'll figure that out, but I don't, that so, so seems I go sexual, get, but I don't know. <laughs> I know it, it did to me, but I don't. Well, you, understand you have it. a freaking vacuum sealer, <laughs> right? Food saver. Yeah, I always miss it up though. Just vacuum fine. seal your clothes, because freaking Mister Rich Boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, oh, I did one eight hundred dollar car. You never vacuum sealed your clothes? <laughs> no, I haven't. Daggum. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So we go, we go on, I get the car topper and my daughter is obsessed with it. She thinks, and she's three. So naturally she thinks it is the coolest thing she's ever seen. She is so excited that it's on top of the car. She wanted to help me put it on top of the car. So I'm up there on like a ladder, like trying to get these bolts on and get it real tight and make sure it's not going to fly off as we're driving down 65 South and finally get it on there. And I'm just like sitting there and I take a step back and I look at it and I'm just like, there's nothing cool about this. That I've I've reached that point in my life where I there's no saving this. I'm going to the beach, and no matter where I go, I have a giant capsule on top of my vehicle that screams, the people in here, not cool. They've hit that level. <laughs> I saw a picture of it. It looks pretty standard. <laughs> Breeze has already surpassed me. Yes, oh, I thought you were talking standard. about the one now. I am talking about that one now. Mm. Oh, it looks golly, fine. Golly. I mean, here's it, the deal. I mean, looks, it looks you, fine. You're definitely a dad. Right. Like, it's... How many bottles of whiskey do you think you could fit in that thing? That's... that. I've thought that. And I'm just like... Then I'm like, man, maybe Whiskey Weekend throwing that on top. Right. You had to. So speaking of Whiskey Weekend, you actually had to rent the van. Because I can't rent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we need the, to van to the, that, the van that I rented one time, I let a buddy drive it. And somebody runs a stop sign and gets hit. And it bashes into the van that I rented. That, yeah. that guy shouldn't be driving. Right. And it busts the radiator. And I had to get hauled to get a new van. 
They gave me a new van, but then I got something in the mail later that says, if you receive any promotional material at all for said rental car company, please disregard it was sent to you by mistake. You are not allowed to rent any automobile from us ever again. Yeah, you're not eligible. So Hertz, dollar, thrifty. Jokes on them. It's off. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go to the My first wife is down here. She just got down here. You think you're so clever. Let's go to the 15. <laughs> All right, let's go to the 15, Will. Hey man. This is where uh, this is where this so for those of y'all that are watching, we want to break the magic. We release we release an audio podcast simultaneously with this and during this part we are running some musical tracks. Yeah. Not some, just a single. Oh, Bo, I we're wanted to get a nice Thule. That was the one that was nice and expensive. And my wife shut it down. Well, it was a really nice one. Mine's would, like some off-brand Dick Sporting Goods store brand. Mm. Whatever, I'm not better. Um, so for the 15, we're going to do something neither of us have had. And we're pretty excited about it. Picks it up for 32 bucks. We'll get talking to it. Um, but while we've got your captive attention, uh, subscribe to the channel, like us. Uh, and by that, like give a thumbs up on the thing. Um, we have also the podcast version. If you want to subscribe there and leave a review, we'd appreciate that. And you can support us um, with our Patreon. So we've got, bunch of cool levels there's some merch levels where you get like a, a, a limited edition flask or you get some swag you get some other cool stuff stickers things like that but we the best have a, we have a town hall coming up this thursday yeah so the best level bang for your buck you're gonna love it is the town hall level because it's just like one step further into this community um we do zoom calls essentially like to boil it down it's like a, a whiskey hangout we all get together we talk about what we're drinking we tell stories grease gets drunk takes his shirt off we have a good time it's a lot of fun and uh you should check that out at patreon.com slash the podcast uh we've got a lot of good folks in there i have met some of my closest friends not just in this like realm but like ever like some of my closest friends now have come from town hall and virtual barn night levels. So check that out if you're interested. Um, a lot of them are on here right now, like Clint, Jason, Dustin. Um, so it, it, they're going to leave somebody out. They're right going to get upset. Will no, I'm lo just looking at the ones you that left are me in. out. I already said that you're on here, Greece. Um, I'm looking at folks that are, who have commented recently, Clint, Dustin. I, I saw Jason earlier. Um, mm. uh, Anyhow, but check it out. It's a lot of fun. You'll like it. And trying to think if I'm leaving anything else. Oh, if you're if you're on the fence or you just got a stimulus check and is burning a hole in your pocket, mm -hmm. whiskeytainment.com. Come to Whiskey Weekend. It is April 22nd through 25th in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to have a blast. We're going to drink a lot of whiskey. You're going to meet those people. And uh, you'll go away um, a changed person. So check that out. Whiskeytainment.com. Can you throw it up there, Grease, on the screen? Okay. So people can read it. Dang it. I thought you had that programmed. No. You did one to, time. I have to type it. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's just like whiskey entertainment melded into whiskeytainment.com. Don't worry about it. I just You're fine. I hit it. I hit it. There you go. There you go. It's up there. Cool. All right, All right. folks. <clears throat> um, we're going to come back from the 15. This is our review portion of the show if you're unfamiliar with the podcast. So. And we're back from the 15. Some say we never left. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we are drinking Legion. And now you have the bottle. We picked this up from the liquor store the other day. I had neither of us had had it. It's been out for a while. Our buddy, uh, Patrick Clausen. Mm -hmm. He bought this the other also day. Also a, a town hall and virtual barn night member. Yeah. He bought this the other day and he was like, Hey, has anybody had this? And we were like, no. But then we saw it and we were like, well, freaking A, we should probably get it. So we got it. Yeah. Uh, There's a couple so of it, names on here. One of it, them I know. The other one a, I don't know. It's a Jim Beam product. Uh, it is 32 bucks is what we paid for it. And it's it's like 
the whole concept and, and maybe there's like text on there you can read oh there's text <laughs> there's there, i want you i want you to try to text. read it. but essentially i think it's like they were trying to meld the whiskey making tradition of american bourbon and japanese whiskey i believe so i think it's like a finished in mm -hmm. sherry cask maybe uh and yeah tell tell us what it says there grace well <clears throat> um uh, it's a, it's a bold Kentucky bourbon by master distiller Fred. No. Okay. That's, that's the name of whatever, you know, okay. Um, you the, the, the you I, so blended and refined by chief blender. And then there's a name now. And I, and I want to spell this name and I just want you to tell me how I should say well, it so, well, because I all, said it to myself earlier and I was like, this just spells demonetization. Here's the last name. Okay. The first name is Shinji. S H I N J I. The last okay. name is F U K U Y O. Fukuyama. Yeah. No, there's no M. You added that because you didn't want it to be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh. F U K U Y O. Yeah. So <laughs> there's no way. There's no way to say that. I don't care who you are. Is you it can't Fukio? Say that. Fukio? Huh? Fukio. Is that that would be if it was F-U-K-I-Y-O. It's just Fuko? F-U-K-U-Y-O. Cool. Um, right. You can't yeah. do it. You yeah. can't You can't phonetically say that and it be okay. Like right. you do so, will be like. Jim Beam is owned by Beam Suntory, which is a multinational whiskey company. Um, Suntory whiskey is is probably the most well known Japanese whiskey brand. Um, if you've seen Lost in Translation, you know the famous commercials that uh, Bill Murray did, where for relaxing times, make it Suntory times, and it's a now this says it was produced scene. and bottled. Uh, by Legion Distilling Company, yeah, Claremont, Kentucky. So that's where that's where Jim Beam is. So essentially, though, they they kind of brought both worlds together under the same house. They took uh, Fred No, and they took the master distiller or blender or wh whatever his title is in their um, uh, in the Suntory world, and they brought it together and made uh, a, a whiskey. So what else is it's a Kentucky uh, it straight it? bourbon whiskey. Right. Uh, I do not see an age statement. So what are we looking at? Four years minimum? I mean, minimum, but I mean, who's to say? Who's I mean, to say? I, I would guess they're probably dealing with six to eight year whiskey for something that's a release like this. Uh, it's partially finished in wine and sherry casks. Yeah. Okay. Like what kind of wine casks? Like, why don't they say it? I don't know. I mean, I don't like, I, I didn't say that word earlier. I don't know why I read it. 94 proof. The nose you think is really I'm not, nice. You think I'm not going to like this? Well, I guess just because I know that you've had Japanese whiskey before and you're not a fan because you don't like single malt type stuff. Yeah. But it if, but it's, felt. but this is a bourbon. You also don't like, like sherry finished too often. So I, I just smell younger. It, I didn't think you were going to like it. It's a good nose. See, I don't think it smells younger. I just get the finished notes. Well, it smells young to me. The decanter is really, it's really good for nosing. You should, you should go back to using regular uh, glasses. So. Hmm. Okay. So. Does not taste young. Nowhere near the typical nuttiness. No, no, no. That uh, it's I feel like the wine and the um sherry strip that right out. They take that right out. Yeah, they ran that through a Brita first. Yeah. Then they re-aged it in the sherry in the wine. 
Well, you also think a lot of the, I mean, this is, is lower proof. A lot of the Jim Beam stuff that we're used to drinking is 120 proof. That's what we're typically drinking. Not that their lower stuff like the Knob Creek 100 or something doesn't have that nutty characteristic. But if we're drinking Booker's or we're drinking um, even Baker's at 107 proof, like we're drinking higher end proof stuff. So a lot of those things are going to stand out, those more bold flavors and clearly uh what we're looking at here is this, is not uh it, it's lower it, it's more refined it's more subtle how much do you remember how much we paid for this 32 bucks it was 32.99 man which, which i feel like it used to be more expensive and that's where uh patrick when he was like i found this for like 30 bucks should i get it and we hadn't had it but people in our in our chat that he was asking said um, you know, we would, uh, I'd, I'd say we should get it, you know, or like whatever. And we're like, well, we haven't had that. And then when we saw it for 32, we're like, okay, well, we'll probably buy this. Cause it used to be in the forties to my remembrance in this area, which is part of the reason I hadn't picked it up before is that I don't really show the bottle. I don't, I don't think the design in the bottle scream something I want to purchase. I, like it's got like, it's got a nice topper. It's I, fine. I like it. It's I don't know. know. It's, it's got substantial this substantial like, cork. It has like these like swoops on it. Like I don't, you can't really see. It. Yeah, like on the on the bottle, not on the cork, on the bottle. Yeah, two legends, one bourbon. I like. No, that. look, look at the at the bottle. Doesn't it have like like swoops. Are you talking about the L? Like this? Uh, it's an L. I don't like it. It's you don't like to me. you don't like you don't like letters. No, I don't like the way it's designed. It, it's off-putting to me. I don't like the, the the graphic design work on it. I just, I never thought, I never thought that a a black swoop would be off-putting. But I'm, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your opinion on that. I right. want to know what this is. I, I want to know what this symbol is. This this feels cultish to me. Like if I was if I was going to join a cult, that would be on my forehead. And I don't even know what it is. It looks like an it looks like another variation of L. <gasps> and there's some sort of Braille. I can't read Braille. What do you think? A QR code. Um, <clears throat> it's it's a lot sweeter. It doesn't have the nuttiness to it. You get the finish. the The wine and the sherry is very prominent on on the palate. Um, thirty two ninety nine. This is a buy for me. Preston Adcock says the swoops are faces. Can you confirm this for me? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see it on no, here. No, we can't. The outline. See the outline of the face right here? Is it is it gonna be there's a nose. I see no he's right. Preston's is it Fred right. No and in Fukio. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Is that what it is? Yes. It's their two faces. Okay. Well, then I need to take another look at it because right. I like hidden pictures. And it's like it, if their faces were, were, were blessed and graced by a horse mane. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, a horse mane. Cool. I think it is fine. I think uh, it, for thirty two ninety nine. I think it tastes fine. I think it's pretty good. If you're like into finish, finish, if you're into finish whiskey, I think you'll probably like it. Like it's it's not it's not blowing my socks off, but uh, it's also not it's it's not bad at all. It's pretty good for thirty two bucks. I'm bar. Mm. I think I'm bar lean by bar mm. lean by, but not. Um, you could convince me. I could have one drink and be a buy on it. And for those of you out there, we have a buy, bar, and a pass rating system. So I went buy. Buy means buy the bottle. Bar means get a pour of it at a bar. Or borrow and it from if you like it. it. Well, then there's borrow we've added, um, which is During fun. During pandemic times. Right. Just, uh, just don't hey, pay any borrow, money for it. Borrow that? Try it, though. And then there's um, pass, which is just yeah, don't waste your time or money. So. We had a pass last week for like the first time in a long time, but this week we are sitting at, I'm sitting at bar lean by. Um, if you like finished whiskey, you'll probably like it. It's, 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 it's good. 
it's good. It's also not very pricey, so it's not going to offend you. Yeah, I, I mean, just, with the, with can't the, get price, over the bottle, though. <laughs> was that? Like it. I just don't like the bottle. You don't? I don't like it. <laughs> not a fan. I, I just can't get over it. I'm trying to figure out like what bottle like th- like upsets me. Like I don't even know. Have you seen Legion? Have you seen that? <laughs> That, that, that bottle doesn't upset me. It upsets me. Picked a fight with me. All right, folks. Um, that's going to do it for this week on the podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. If you're listening to this, go to youtube.com slash the podcast. Give us a subscribe there. We're having a lot of fun. We are having a lot of good folks on our drinking with series. You can go back and watch the ones we've done so far, but we're taking this next week off. Uh, but then we'll be back the following week with some good content on the drinking with show. We have John Edwards from dad's drinking bourbon that will be joining us for that. And then after that, we have Matt Raywalt who is wrestling with whiskey, former WWE superstar, Aiden English. So got a couple lined up that you're not going to want to miss. And, and speaking of, of Matt Raywalt, go over to his wrestling with whiskey channel on YouTube. He had a, um, Great interview with Matt and his last name escapes me, but uh, he they were he was doing a blind tasting of whiskey with him. It's his new series, Straight Shooting, and he led him through this, and it's super fun to watch. But they also talk about he talks about Hornswoggle being on our Drinking With series, so check that out. It was a lot of fun, and uh, other than that, we don't know Jack, but we'll drink it. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. We love y'all. Oh, this Matt is Cardona. Actually, it's Matt Cardona. I might. Matt Cardona. Dad gum it, Will. I know. Uh, I might. Yep. Bender just, he, he just threw it out there for you, buddy. Um, I, uh, I might go live later this week uh, just for like a fun like Q&A thing. That might be fun. Will's on vacation the rest of the week. Uh, so we're not going to have our normal Thursday night shebang this week. No drinking with this week. However, next week we've got John with uh, Dad's drinking bourbon, like Will said, and then Matt following that. So, um, but yeah, we might just do like a little Q and A or something or another. But thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Thank we love you all. Thanks for the support. It's um, it's it's fun growing this YouTube thing. We've we're about two and a half months in, I guess, and feels good. Maybe people three seem to enjoy it and keep coming back for more. Yeah, we need to do. Yeah, we've got some, we've got some special videos coming too. We we yep. haven't had time really right now because we've got whiskey weekend coming up. A lot of our extra time in the evenings are spent planning and getting ready for that. So, anyway, if you're interested in that, whiskeytainment.com, hook it up. Let's go. Let's party. We got It's Bourbon Night coming. We've got BS and Bourbon. We've got ADHD Whiskey. We got Dixon Debman from Kentucky Al coming. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, is that all you got, Will? You're about to go on vacay. I know. That's all I got. I got to go get a haircut. Right now? Yeah. Oh. His wife cuts hair. Just so everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.